the growth of the channel has been absolutely phenomenal and ridiculous. So thank you all very much for that. It's been going crazy. It's mental. So thank you very much. Let's get into it. This is a Brighton special and I'm going to be showing a couple. I haven't counted how many I've got, but I've just had a look at the ones I think are best really. So let's get started, shall we? So we've got a Brighton Endurance. This is the version with a white rubber strap and the black and white dial. Now these are more of the entry level Brightlings. You know, I genuinely think they look nice and I think this would be a really nice daily watch. It's got box and papers, it's brand new. It says it's new with tags, but he even says in the description that he's used it a couple of times. So it is used, but it's basically unworn. I've said it before, I hate it when people do this. It's got the Brightling Calibre 82 movement, which is considered a super quartz. It's a thousand pound off retail, I believe. So a great saving if you're interested in one of these. And yeah, you get the nice box. You don't get the recycled new one. So that's another bonus. And yeah, great one to look at if you're looking for a more a more of a rugged watch, really. It's not the prettiest, but it still looks nice in my opinion. So have a gander. Now this one doesn't come up all that often. It's the Red Dial Chronomat. The issues with this one is the hands are a bit rusted, but these can be changed over time. You might be able to get them from Brightly in their service if they've still got them, but you could just take them to a watchmaker and take new hands and they, they can put them on. The case overall is actually in very good condition. I mean, it's not too bad. It might have been polished. It seems like it has. It's not as reflective as it usually is. Overall, it looks phenomenal. And the red dial does really pop nicely. So it's a great one to look at. It's got box, no papers, which is a bit disappointing, but it's not too bad for 1350. I would say I would wait until either a price drop or a seller offer. This one has just been dropped from 1500 I believe. So it has begun coming down. So I would wait a bit for another price drop. It's not the most popular I've noticed with the watches. So you can get this even cheaper. But 1350 I think you got a good deal there. So, And one of the good parts about these is the Breitling B with the anchor on the chronograph hand. Beautiful. Have a gander. Breitling Chronospace. Now, these are a bit hit and miss with me i've seen them before and it's like you know i don't really like the the led stuff on it i genuinely think if you want something that's a bit different it's a great one to go for you've also got the brightling b with the anchor on the chronograph hand which is very nice but i think it's one of them things where the same with the endurance it's more of a daily watch and a utility watch really but I think they are genuinely nice. I would personally change the mesh strap. I just don't really like them. But yeah, it's box and papers. Looks to be in very good condition actually. The clasp has got a few marks on it, but nothing too major. I would personally get one of these if I had a collection prior. I wouldn't buy this one as my only watch, if I'm being honest. But it's a very nice watch nonetheless. I think 1800 is not too bad price if you're able to make an offer you might as well utilize it and get some money off so have a gander so we've got a brightly navitama pluton now this is a bit of a project watch so if anyone wants to have something they can just repair and everything then this is a great one to go for i've just had an offer for 395 so if i was interested in this i would just counter and put 350 and you've got an extra 45 pound off but this one has got some marks on the crystal and the LCD display isn't working correctly. Also, the bezel isn't clicking. So it's a massive project watch. If you're interested in it, I'd have a gander. But if you just want to buy a watch that will work, this is not the one for you. I think the sellers mentioned that it tells time. Okay, but everything else is just not working very well. So if you're looking for a project, great one to go for. Now, I would 100% make an offer on this one. But... This one caught my eye because of the dial. The dial is superb. I've never actually seen this Navitama before. It's a limited edition model. And I love having the sub dials on either side of the hands. And it's phenomenal. It really is a nice watch. I don't know if the strap is Breitling. So I don't think the strap is original Breitling. But 3450 is really good price on Navitamas. Navitamas are really coming down in value at the moment. So it's a great time to pick one up. I would definitely say go for around 3250 As it's from a dealer, I'd say you can wait a bit and wait for a seller offer. But 3450 I'd be happy with that anyway if you're interested in this watch. So have a gander. The absolute gem, the Breitling Colt, the A73380. Now this has got the blue dial. This one is the most popular Colt. I think the ivory is better, but 
the blue is most popular. So in the description, it says it's got a self-winding mechanical movement, but it's, it's, this is a quartz movement. That's not a bad thing because it is considered super quartz. These colts are phenomenal. I would advise getting a polish on the strap or getting a new one. You can pick them up from Breitling for about 160 quid. So they're not too bad priced compared to other brands. You can also get straps from Deluxe, which are a great place to get new straps. Or you can just polish this one up. It is scratched to death. That might be partly because of the lighting, but yeah, it's very scuffed up. But the Colt, I would always recommend getting a Colt. They are a great watch and they're so nice on the wrist. So comfortable with the links because they're curved. They don't pull hairs as much as usual bracelets. 1150, extremely good price. I think this has got box no papers, but even though 1150 is a very good price, I would say try and go for a thousand and that's a phenomenal price. So give it a watch and see if you can get the price down. Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 46 millimeter. So it's the black dial and the black bezel, which is lovely. It seems to be in very good condition. Comes with the original receipt. The clasp is scuffed up a bit, but you can always get that changed. And the mesh, the good thing about the mesh really, what I've noticed is it really, it hides damage really well. That's one benefit of it, really. I, I still don't really enjoy the mesh bracelet, but that's one bonus of it. And yeah, the actual watch seems to be in very good condition. It's just the clasp that probably needs changing down the line. But 2650, very good price. I'll try for 2450, and you got a really, really good price. Authenticity guarantee. Have a gander.